In this video demonstrating how to apply Euclid chemical solvent based sealers to exterior concrete, we will talk about the various considerations to keep in mind, tools you will need, how to prepare your surface area, ideal environmental conditions for use of the sealer, the step-by-step -step application process, and how to safely clean up the area following application. Before proceeding, verify that your surface actually needs to be resealed. Applying too many coats of sealer over a span of years can lead to problems with the sealer bubbling, turning white, and flaking off. Euclid chemical concrete sealers are best applied by experienced professionals. To properly apply the sealer, allow yourself plenty of time, at least 48 to 72 hours from start to finish. You will also need to recruit a helper, as this is a two-person job. For safety and handling procedures, make sure you read and understand the product's technical data sheet and safety data sheet prior to using the sealer. Both are available online at euclidchemical.com. You'll need to have several tools handy before you begin. First, be sure to wear safety glasses and gloves to avoid coming into direct contact with the product. For preparation of your surface area, you'll need a water source, a mild detergent cleaner, preferably TSP, a 6-inch rectangular stiff bristle broom, sometimes called a deck brush, and either a pressure washer for best results or, alternatively, a garden hose with a high-pressure nozzle. The pressure washer must be a minimum of 3,000 PSI and have a 15-degree fan tip or turbo nozzle and can be found at a local equipment rental company. For application of the sealer, you'll need an industrial handheld pump sprayer with a half gallon per minute dripless spray tip, a 3 8 inch nap solvent resistant roller, a roller frame on a pole, and plastic drop cloths. Some jobs may also require a paintbrush for areas the roller cannot reach. Finally, you'll need barricade tape to clearly mark off the sealed area during the drying period. Concrete surfaces to be sealed should be in good condition. Oil and other stains should be spot cleaned before performing an overall wash of the concrete surface. Begin this washing step by pre-wetting the surface with water. Be sure to hose out debris from joints and cracks in the concrete. Next, use your detergent cleaner and deck brush to scrub the concrete and loosen dirt and contaminants. Then, rinse the surface with clean water using a pressure washer or hose. Finally, allow the surface to dry, preferably overnight. Note that dark spots mean that the surface is still wet. The concrete is completely dry when it becomes one even color. It is critical to consider the weather conditions under which you'll be applying the sealer. For best results, apply the sealer at the coolest part of the day and avoid direct sun if possible. As a general rule of thumb, if the concrete is too hot to touch, then it is too hot to apply the sealer. The same goes for your sealer and sprayer. They must be stored in a cool environment out of direct sunlight. It is also important to make sure there is no rain forecasted for at least 24 hours. Start by reading the sealer's technical data sheet, which contains the coverage rate and is available online at euclidchemical.com. It is critical to apply the sealer according to the coverage rate and not over apply. More is not better. Measure the area to be sealed and calculate exactly how much sealer should be applied. If you need help, use the product calculator or smartphone app available at euclidchemical.com. It will do the math for you. Next, cover any surrounding shrubs or buildings with a plastic drop cloth to protect them from sealer overspray. Do not remove the drop cloth until application is complete and you have finished cleaning up the area. You are now ready to begin the application process. First, pour the sealer into the sprayer and pump it to create pressure. When applying the sealer, spray lightly and evenly in a back and forth pattern from joint to joint to ensure a smooth coat. Keep the pressure high at all times and stop every 15 seconds to repump. Be sure to keep your spray tip close to the surface of the concrete. While you're applying the sealer, your helper should follow you and immediately back roll at 90 degrees or perpendicular to you. This is done to remove lap marks and ensure an even appearance. Use a paintbrush to spread the sealer in areas the roller cannot reach and in large gaps where it may puddle too heavily. When complete, be sure to mark the area with barricade tape until it is dry. 
The drying time will vary depending on weather conditions, but it's recommended to allow 24 hours before opening up the area to use. To clean up, first spray any remaining sealer back into its original can and reseal the pour spout. Unused sealer can be properly stored in a cool place and reused. Next, pour up to one gallon of xylene into the sprayer and then spray it into a waste container. Be sure to follow all the precautions printed on the can of xylene when using this solvent. Lastly, safely dispose of the solvent waste and any rags used for cleaning in accordance with your local laws and regulations. Thank you for choosing Euclid Chemicals Sealers. For more information, visit euclidchemical.com.